We may now be seated. We invite our distinguished guests to join the President to witness the signing to law the Subscribers Identity Merger Registration Act. On stage are Vice President Sara Duterte Carpio, Senate President Juan Miguel Subiri, Principal Author, House Speaker Ferdinand Martin Robaldez, Principal Author, Executive Secretary Lucas Persamin, Special Assistant to the President Antonio Ernesto Lagdameo, Presidential Majesty Subsecretary Maria Sinaidang Ping, Secretary Ivan John Uy, DICT, Representative Ferdinand Alexander Marcos, author and Bayam Conferee, Senate Potemporary Loren Legarna, author, Senator Aimi R. Marcos, author, Senator Majority Leader Joel Villanueva, author, Senator Sherwin Gachalian, author, Senator Ramon Rivilla Jr., author, Senator Joseph Victor Ejerto, author and Bayam Conferee, Senator Grace Poe, author by Conferee and Sponsoring Committee Chairperson, Senate Committee on Public Service, House Majority Leader Manuel Jose Delipe, House Minority Leader Marcelino Libanan, Representative Chino El Mario, author and Bicom Conferee. Representative Tobias Reynald Chianco, sponsoring committee chairperson, House Committee on Information and Communication Technology. Representative Jude A. Asidre. Representative Brexit Gatsalian. They are joined by Senator Christopher Lawrence Go, Senator Maria Lourdes Nancy Binay. Senator Cinza Villar. Senator Sonny Angara. Senator Rafi Tulfo. Representative Ram Roman Romulo. Representative Stella Luz Kimbo. Undersecretary Ruth Castello. Undersecretary Brigido Dule Jr. Under Secretary Alexander Ramos, Deputy Director General Michael Eric Castillo, Commissioner Gamiel Cordoba, Commissioner John Henry Tunaga, Police General Dolphin Asurin Jr., Director Medardo de Lemos, Director General Ricardo de Leon, President Jose Sosa, Board of Directors Gina Patena and Hazel Rose Pascual. Upon the present signature, House Bill Number 14 and Senate Bill Number 1310 shall now become known as Republic Act Number 11934, entitled "An Act Requiring the Registration of Subscriber Identity Module Cards." The law provides for the regulation of the sale and distribution of subscriber identity module cards or SIM cards to promote end user accountability and prevent proliferation of mobile phone scams and data breaches. The President may wish to sign the document. May we invite everyone to face the cameras for a quick photo opportunity. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Once again, we invite everyone to face the cameras for a quick photo opportunity. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, distinguished guests. We may now all be seated. At this juncture, we invite Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin to introduce our keynote speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. Thank you very much, uh, Vice President uh, Sara Duterte. Please, uh, please uh, take your seats. Senate President uh, Juan Miguel Subiri and uh, the other honorable members of the Senate, uh, House Speaker uh, Martin Romualdez, and uh, members of the House of Representatives here present, uh, Executive Secretary uh, Lucas Persamin and the members of the Cabinet, other distinguished guests, ladies, and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am pleased to join you here as we sign into law the SIM Card Registration Act. With the signing of this act, we will finally achieve what has long been overdue, an effective means of regulating the issuance of SIM cards to curb the spread of spam text messages and scams. We will soon be able to provide law enforcement agencies the tools needed to resolve crimes perpetrated with the use of these SIM cards, as well as providing a strong deterrence against the commission of wrongdoing. Under the SIM Card Registration Act, every public telecommunication entity or direct seller shall be required to demand end users of SIM cards to present a valid identification document to validate their identities. These telecommunications entities shall also be required to maintain a SIM card register of their subscribers, containing information required under this law. It also mandates that they submit a verified list of their authorized dealers and agents nationwide to the National Telecommunications Commission with updates every quarter of the year. To cover all users of SIM cards in this act, telecommunications entities are mandated to ensure the registration of existing prepaid SIM card phone subscribers within a prescribed period. Failure to comply results to the grant of authority for telecommunications entities to automatically deactivate services to the specific SIM card subscriber under the force of law. The use of false or fictitious information the use of fictitious identities, the use of fraudulent documents or identifications to register a SIM card shall also be dealt with by appropriate penalties. Crucially as well, included in this crucial piece of legislation are provisions that make paramount the protection of confidentiality and data privacy rights of subscribers which shall begin to take effect at the point of sale. Any information in the SIM card registration shall be treated as absolutely confidential unless access to this information has been granted by the written consent of the subscriber. These public telecommunications entities shall only be required to disclose information contained in the SIM card upon a duly issued subpoena or order of a court upon finding of probable cause. They can likewise be compelled to do so upon written request from a law enforcement agency in relation to an ongoing investigation that a particular number is used in the commission of a crime or that it was used as a means to commit an unlawful act. Appropriate penalties shall be imposed for any breach to this confidentiality due to negligence for spoofing a registered SIM card, for the selling of stolen SIM cards, and for the sale or transfer of a registered SIM without complying with required registration. So I commend the legislators from the House and from the Senate for uh, coming up with this timely and necessary law. We, it is the first legislative measure that successfully passed the approval of the bicameral panel of both houses in the 19th Congress. Truly, the legislation is going to be welcomed by many of our people, especially now, with reports of uh, the commission of various crimes using mobile phones, including proliferation of tech scams and spam. Indeed, with the signing of this law, we set the important tone that it is our national policy to ensure that technology shall only be used to improve our people's lives. Moving forward, it is my hope that we will be able to enact even more measures to help bring forth the security, progress, and prosperity that we aspire for, 
for our Filipino brothers and sisters and for the entire nation. Thank you at mabuhay tayong lahat. Magandang hapong po sa inyo. Thank you, Mr. President. A round of applause, please. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's event. We'd like to request everyone to please remain seated until the President has left the hall. Thank you.